And I guess, I think everybody tries to find themselves throughout life, you know what I mean? But do your grandparents, if they maybe agree with what you do or not, they're sort of proud of you because... Oh no, they're totally proud of me. Mm -hmm. it's, I, it's, I think it's just me, the way I am. It's, it's, it's a little bit in, in you still. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's just the way some people are brought up. The way you just... Bear in mind that I'm traditionally very English. You get brought up with a certain decorum and certain manners and sometimes that plays in the back of your mind. Does it get less over the years or maybe it increases now? I think it maybe increases, I don't know. I'm a bad guy sometimes, I'm, you know, I'm a naughty bloke. So uh, sometimes you need that, that escapism. You need to, to find an excuse to yeah, I don't know, my wife will kill me if I say that. <laughs> yeah, well, last question. You, 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 you put it down in the song, but do you sometimes also express these feelings to your... To I can't your express it very well today because I've got total flu. Mm -hmm. But do you sometimes talk to your wife and your parents, maybe whoever has a different background than, or the same background but different... Outing of perspective, perspective, yeah. I mean, it's, it, in the end, it's, it's a humane thing to feel guilty maybe a little bit about what you do. I think we're made to feel guilty sometimes, you know. But, um, animals don't feel guilt, you know. They just feel nature. That's, that's the way they are. And sometimes, you know, because we, we believe ourselves more than animals because we have spirituality and what have you, that we invent things, maybe godhood, maybe, you know, the devil, blah, 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 to try and make ourselves feel like we're, we're better than animals. And, uh, yeah. But do you think you have, you said you were from a religious background and you were brought up with the morale of, of maybe Christian background a little bit? Somewhat, yeah. Have you maybe overcome all the the boundaries that the morale has given you, you mm -hmm. now in, the, in this time of your life? Well, like I say, uh, heavy metal is about escapism mm -hmm. and Cradle of Filth is about escapism. Um, and I think sometimes people read too much into what we want to do, what we are as a band. I mean, when you go to go and watch a movie, you go there to go and enjoy it and disappear from life for a little while. And hopefully that's what kind of our records are doing okay, we have a dark background, we have like all this sort of, um, you know, some people call it, some people call it dark, I wouldn't possibly, but, um, oh God, my flu is just going mad now. <laughs> Sorry, I really pardon me. No worry. <laughs> we'll, we'll I can't even on. breathe. I know, I know. You Welcome wanna... to Brussels. Um, sorry. Sorry, please. Yeah, you say you would not describe your music as dark, uh, at least, but you... I'm not sure what you want to say, but... Uh, I'm not sure what I want to say. I, I just want to go home and lie down and go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get I feel terrible. Yeah. I'll do my first, but maybe to sum it up then, the story where we were talking about, there is some maybe autobiographical aspects also in, in the fictional, or not in the fiction, but in the subjects. And yeah, the I think so as well. I think so, definitely. I mean... You know, as people, we always search for an answer for everything. That's why we in invent figureheads and, and, and gods and goddesses. And um, I think as people, we're always searching for an, ex for an answer to everything. And there hasn't been one person that can turn around, even though I've, I, I've known occultists and ghost hunters and uh, you know, Priests, I've known loads of different people, and nobody has actually turned around and said, Oh, this is the answer. Everybody's, you know, so trying to create. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And I think we make our own opinions, and sometimes they become like advertisements that sometimes you actually start believing the crap that people tell you. Is Maybe that's what I was trying to get around to in my stupid, fog bound, flu head. Is there maybe. <laughs> Maybe if, I'm not sure if there's an answer to this question, but in the making of this, this last record, did you get an answer in a certain way? That, uh, I got a suntan. <laughs> we, um, 
yeah, I think with each album we kind of discover ourselves a little bit more. And I think that's why we like to dig deep and, 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 and produce a story because it's like a kind of, uh, it's like medicine, I guess. You know, we, um, I think it, it's like soul searching. And, you know, it's very important for us to do a good album. And so we want to dig deep with it. It shouldn't just be, you know, like a, a random thing about random topics. It should be something that's deep and meaningful. And I guess, I think everybody tries to find themselves throughout life, do you know what I mean? Um, perhaps we haven't found ourselves yet. Perhaps on our 10th album, maybe, you know? Who knows? But the search continues. To yes, of course, yes. Thank you for your time. And yeah, good sorry luck about you. that. I just, I really am really, really ill. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.